Dressed Up is a way to bring magic to the holidays. Hi, Sharks. I'm Chris Seary. And I'm Lisa Seary, and we're from Wallingford, Connecticut. And we are the founders of Santa's Enchanted Mailbox, here today seeking an investment of $150,000 in exchange for 30% equity in our business. Writing letters to Santa is a tradition as old as St. Nick himself. But with the rising cost of postage, Santa has chosen our family to create an exciting and innovative way to send your letters to the North Pole. With Santa's Enchanted Mailbox, children everywhere can now send their letters, lists, drawings, and communicate with Santa and his elves all season long with real magic happening right before your eyes. Allow us to demonstrate how our product works. Simply insert the magical envelope into Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. Close the door, raise the flag, listen to the enchanted sounds and chimes. <laughs> and when the mailbox is reopened, your letter is gone, magically. Oh, serious? Whisked away to the North Pole. <laughs> but sharks, don't just take our word for how much fun this new family Christmas tradition is. Take a look at some of the excitement from children around the world. on Santa's nice list. Come join our family in spreading Christmas joy around the world. How did you even come up with this idea? This is a family business. My wife and I, we've been married 12 years yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you guys very much. Um, when our oldest, who's now 10, was three years old, we used to put out this cardboard, decorative, flimsy mailbox as a decoration. And we said, wouldn't it be cool if we could bring real magic right in front of them, not something left to the imagination? So my stepfather-in-law is a retired engineer. He helped create the prototype. Then we secured two granted utility patents. We trademarked the name. And then what again? How do we go about bringing this to the masses? So we decided to take a licensing route. Lisa and I started writing anybody that wanted to hear our story. I pitched to anybody who would take a meeting with me to learn more about the product. And we found a wholesale Christmas-based company and signed a three-year licensing agreement. Our licensing agreement just came to an end. This is our first year out on our own. And, and here we are. Here we are today. How much did they sell? So our first year, we did $120,000 in sales. Our second year, we were pretty blown away. A big box retailer placed an order for $1.7 million. Ooh. Whoa. And in our third year, 2020, a lot of obstacles happened. Uh, on a personal note, so my wife owns a hair salon. Yep. Talk a little bit about uh, that. With COVID, we were forced to shut down and the schools were forced to shut down. So uh, overnight, we became a single income family. And so not having my income pitching into our home life, we decided to go a little bit more conservative on spend. And that kind of changed our route of where we were going with the mailbox. Did it sell through at the big box retailer? We were told it underperformed to their expectations. At the same time, they dropped the price and then they did start to sell. How much did you make off of the licensing agreement? Like what percentage? In our first year, we, we did 4% until we owned the cost of the mold. Uh, in the second year, it went up to 6% and remained at 6% in our third year. And did they manufacture this or did they you? They did, so we're actually currently utilizing their manufacturer still, but we're paying a markup that comes with that. You're buying direct to the factory, but you're going to have to pay a markup on that? We're paying a markup to our former licensing partner to utilize the manufacturer. So you're using their factory overseas, but they made you pay for the molds. What did the molds cost? We don't know the exact total, but it was close to fifteen to 30000 We had two different molds made. Wow. Yeah. Now, and, this and is a you, lesson about licensing. This is a huge yeah. lesson. Are you well, hearing it, that, Kevin? It's a well, huge, actually, I it's wouldn't a have done huge, it that way. Licensing is okay, but it's a huge lesson on the deal that you did, yeah. yes. right? This was brand new to us. And maybe th there were some things that we still scratch our head about. No, but I mean, listen, don't ever feel bad. Land. The To me, the best lessons in life are your mistakes. So let's talk about the cost of this. Sure. How much does it cost to make, so, and what do you sell it yeah, for? Yeah, right now, they're at $17.25 all in to get them here to the States. We're selling them for $49.99 on our website. 
We know that we have to drive down the cost of manufacturing. You said they brought the price down and started to perform. I believe you said that, correct? Correct. Um, yeah, exactly. And what was the magic price point that they started to perform at? Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. And you're bringing it in right now at seventeen. Correct. This mailbox is a it's a it's a decorative mailbox, and people were walking past it. We had no way to get the story out, what it does. And there was no marketing budget behind it, so we're really looking for strategic partners that can help market this. I don't like seasonality in retail. I see this as a challenge just to go direct to consumer. It works, there's magic, I get it. But this one's not for me, I'm out. Guys, I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, there's a lot of complexities for a simple business. Your relationship with your former licensee, your manufacturing relationship, particularly trying to get something done for this Christmas, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's just a, a lot, that's a big hill to climb. Yep. So for those reasons, I'm out. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I think my challenge is that um, you got to hit that price down to put it in retail. Yep. And this is a product that has to be demonstrable, and it's very hard. It doesn't have what we call hanger appeal, because you don't even realize all the great things it does when you're walking by. So I that know, means right? you have to be converting heavy on yep. social media and right. online. And I don't see it there just yet, um, so I'm out. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. I have five seasonal businesses in the last three or four years. And what's interesting to me is those entrepreneurs, I believe, work harder than any of my other entrepreneurs because I have to push in a very short window. Mm -hmm. But I think your price is way too high. Mm -hmm. And yet you're smart people, you're so dedicated. I think you ought to find something else to do. Okay. I don't think this thing is going to fly. I'm out. But wait, but wait. The and queen of one. plastic is still here. Yep. <laughs> we came here today wanting to walk out of here with a deal with the right partner. I mean, we'd be willing to move the equity to where it's beneficial for the amount of work that we need. First of all, I think it's cute as can be. I really do. And I think kids will love it. It's just spot on to me. So I think the product is a hero. My problem here is I do think it's too high. And it sounds like what's going on with the factory, that's really difficult once you don't have control of it. Yep. Right? Very hard. Yes. The other thing that I worry about with this is what you could get that down to. Yep. If you had told me what this could cost, what we could do with it, that would have turned it for me. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. yeah. And so, unfortunately, because I don't know, I have to be out. Well, guys, th thank, thank you. you. So, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Congrats, guys. Good luck. Thank